In this podcast, we're going to be looking at the types of finishes that can be applied to graphic products. There are four you need to know, laminating, varnishing, UV varnishing, and hot foil blocking. First one we're going to look at is laminating. This type of finish involves applying a transparent plastic film onto the surface of the paper or board. This finish provides a gloss coat to the product, adds strength, makes the graphic product more durable, is easy to complete and is relatively low in cost. However, it is slow to complete and takes time. The second method is varnishing. This method is applied to paper and board to give a high gloss finish as seen on glossy magazines to give a paper a quality feel. The varnish is applied by spraying it directly onto the surface of the paper or board and once dry gives a gloss finish and helps to protect the print underneath. However, the disadvantage of this method is it takes a long time to dry, taking up valuable space and time, costing more money before a product can be distributed. Third method is UV varnishing. This method is similar to varnishing except ultraviolet light can be used to speed up the drying of the varnish. The varnish is applied in the same way as before using a spray. The product is then put through an ultraviolet light which dries the varnish almost instantaneously. The only disadvantage of this method is that the UV equipment is very expensive. The last method is hot foil blocking. This method is used to produce truly reflective metallic printing and other effects impossible with normal printing inks. In this process, a foil coating is transferred to paper or board by means of a heated dye. A roll of foil with a polyester backing sheet is continuously fed over the paper or board and a heated dye presses the foil onto its surface, giving the graphic product a metallic look. The disadvantage of this process is it tends to be very expensive, so it needs to be used on only particular graphic products where it is needed. That concludes this section of the revision. If you have any questions, please come and speak to me.